Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today we have Amy. Hello. And Stuart. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so, last night we watched Batman vs. Superman, thanks to Event Cinemas and Roadshow Entertainment, something like that. Um, so just, Roadshow, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to give them a shout out at the very beginning. Thank you guys very much for allowing us to see it early. Um, so... Spoiler-free review, as always, first 10 minutes. Then the rest of it, we're just going to break down the whole movie point for point. So, if you don't want to ruin, listen to the first 10 minutes. We'll give you a definite notice when the spoilers are going to hit. And then switch it off. You have my permission to do that. And then come back to it in a week's time after you've actually watched it yourself. So, we'll start off with Amy. What are your thoughts? I liked it. Spoiler-free. I liked it. I was just... The only bad thing is they didn't do this end bit. Yeah. You sit and wait for the... There's, yeah, there's no... At the end. There's no end, end of credits scene, yeah. Which is sort of disappointing. You sit there and wait and you go... Yeah. Where is it? And then they turned all the lights off on us as we're trying to go out of the <laughs> cinema. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, so, movie ends, watched all the credits the whole way through, waiting for an end credits scene, nothing pops up. All the house lights come up, everyone's tense up, starts walking out, all the house lights go off. It's black. And we're just like, um, okay. <laughs> walking out of a black cinema now, this is not terrifying. Expected Batman to jump out of somewhere and attack us. So. That would actually be funny if Batman fell from the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just at the end of the movie, out of nowhere, you just see Batman um, swing down from the roof to the exit lane and just walk out casually. <laughs> Like, um, where the hell did he come from? Uh, but, yeah, I thought it was really good. I had no expectations going in. Yeah, I had fairly low I'd... expectations based on Man of Steel. Well, I also hadn't watched Man of Steel, so... Ah, at least that. So, what about you, Stuart? I was pleasantly and happily surprised at how well that was done. Yeah. That was a very well done movie. There were a lot of really cool shots. Even in, even in the beginning, the, um, like during the flashback of the... Um, uh, I can't go into it yet. Oh, screw it. Parent. We know there's always a parent stats yeah, in the, the, the Batman the, movie. The, 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 the flashback Batman sort of backstory reveal, which yeah. isn't really a reveal at this point. No, it's like everyone's like, yeah, we know the same story, but the like the camera shots were really cool and stuff, and I love the fight scenes. Oh with yeah, Batman's just oh, it's just so straight out of the Arkham video games. Yeah, definitely. Now, do we want to mention the Lego Batman trailer? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, so we got to see we we're one of the first in the world to see the new Batman Lego Movie trailer. And it was spectacular. It was the funniest thing I've seen in ages. They just take the piss out of all of the Batmans. Every Batman movie. Especially Batnips. Yeah. And, um, what was it? It was Alfred's like, well, remember what you were like in in 2016? Because this movie comes out in 2017 and it shows Athlete. Um, what about 2012? And it shows The Dark Knight. And then it sort of jumps backwards through all of the other... Batman movies, um, when it shows the 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 nips, hit Batman's like, I was going through a phase. <laughs> that was absolute. That was a really again really well done funny trailer. Yeah, whether the whole movie will be able to stand up to that's a question. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that because it was on before the movie and it was hilarious. Now me, my spoiler free review is better than I expected. I went in expecting a five six out of ten. 
average sort of movie, and I came out pleasantly surprised. Um, the quality of the filming was spectacular. The, the audio cues were dead on. Mm. Like, Especially the music. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, well, it was um, Hard Zimmer who did the music, so... Yeah. It was, that was, it was spectacular. It was perfect. Point for point, I can... I'm genuinely struggling to find a spoiler-free flaw with this movie. Put it that way. I would easily give it 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Mm. Oh, yeah. And that's assuming Man of Steel is 5, 6 out of 10. It wasn't a very good movie, um, in my opinion. So, yeah. Substantially better movie. And the way they set up the other characters coming into it was... Cool. Done in a way that makes sense, and yeah. there was hints to the other expanded DC universe, which was really, really good. Um, but yeah, it was very well balanced for what they had to do, and I'm genuinely surprised. Yeah, it didn't feel like it was a. It didn't feel like there was a slow point in the movie to me. Yeah, oh, it was it, a it couple felt... of moments that were a little bit slow, but other a little than that, slow, it was really but... good. They, like, they kept the pace up really well. Yeah. Definitely. Mark was having no luck with his um, work. Cox <laughs> <laughs> uh, was like, screw this, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. What is it with him? Like, in the first movie, he went on a whole... Because I watched the first movie yesterday, after the podcast, before we went and watched this. Um, in the first movie, he got all depressed and went on sort of an nomadic world tour. Sort of randomly popping up here and there. And in this movie... He does the same at one point, but we'll get back to we'll get to that when the the spoiler section. But yeah, depressed Superman is depressed. So I'm, I'm I'm genuinely gonna I'm cannot wait for the how it should have ended for this. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious! I still think they should have done a scene at the very end of that movie with Batman versus Superman sitting in a cafe. With ruined <laughs> Gotham in the background, just drinking coffee, and they're like, "It's like so, who's going to visit us today?" And just have them shrug, and that was it. Just a full-on blatant reference to how it should have ended. It would have been spectacular. see the way I will have had, see the way I will have, if they did an after credit scene to set up for Suicide Squad, is Bruce is sitting in the back cave, and then all of a sudden he gets a notification that Joker has escaped from Arkham. Yeah, and that'd be the per and, the, and that's the perfect way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, Just leave it with that. If you're setting up Suicide Squad, that'd be perfect, yeah. So That's what they should have done. Because we know he's in the Suicide Squad movie, because you've seen the pictures, he was in trailers and stuff, so... Yeah, and based on the... Because pre- we saw a different preview. I haven't seen that preview for um, Suicide Squad that we watched either. I have. I have. You have? Yeah. 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 That one looks it's like... It's been out for ages. It has? Oh, okay. We reviewed that. We reviewed that one. Are you sure? I thought that yeah. was different to yes. the one we reviewed. No, 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 no. This oh. is the Queen one. Oh, okay. I just so love what Harley does. <laughs> Smashes the window. In... Yep. <laughs> Smashes with the window. bad guys. <laughs> what do you expect with bad guys? Uh, but I could have sworn there was some shots in there I hadn't seen before, but that must have just been me. Anyway, mm. um, and I get to go see it tomorrow. Go class. Woo. So, okay, I've given it my edit. The Batman my, movie, that is. Yeah, I've given mm. my rating on what I think this movie is. Eight and a half, eight to nine out of ten, somewhere in that ballpark. Where would you mm. guys put it? Uh, yeah. I'll, go, I'll go eight and a half, nine. Like, this is going to give Civil War, Civil War a run for its money. Yeah. It may not beat it. But to date, this is the best Batman um, DC film we've got. Yeah, I would, I would not de- counting animated films. This is the best live action. Yeah, I would definitely agree. It's 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 probably my favorite DC film so far, and I'm actually looking forward to watching it again, which I could not say about any of the other. Yeah, I know this is just, this is really really well done. Yeah, Amy, out of ten. Um, probably an eight, but. Eight. Yeah, probably an eight. So yeah. There's always stuff you can do better. Fair enough. So I'm especially because there's no Robins. Yeah, someone was very disappointed there was no Robin. 
or no real mention uh, to the Robin suit other than the the, the cameo. Yeah, I spot. know that, that 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 bothered me as well. I was like, can we at least just find out who it was? Yeah. Um, maybe so- we'll see. Maybe we find out in Suicide Squad. That's what I'm hoping. So anyway, um, that's the spoiler-free section. So if you want to watch this, sorry, if you want the movie ruined, stick around. If not, you have my permission to switch the podcast off. Go watch the movie. It doesn't. The movie itself does not feel like it's as long as it is. It actually goes by relatively quickly. I was surprised. There's even a few moments where I was, I sat forward in my seat in sort of expectation, which I haven't done in a movie in <laughs> as long as I can remember. Um, mm. So, yeah. It's very, very well done. You will definitely enjoy it. So, anyway. Spoiler section. Coming right up. Spoilers. We really need to get a spoiler alert sound. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but... Anyway, it's fairly irrelevant at like this point. Like some sort of alarm that goes like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. No, do self-extract that sound file. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious if we use that. <laughs> anyway. Well, let's start at the beginning of the movie. The movie starts off focusing on Batman. We don't actually see Superman for quite a while, actually. I'd say probably like first half hour was probably bats. Yeah. Oh, we see bits and pieces of Superman, but it's mostly Batman and bits. Luther for the first, yeah, good at least half hour of the movie. So it starts off showing Batman's backstory, um, sort of. Which everyone knows, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, it's it's almost part of the opening credits. Um, I wonder what I wonder if there's been more in it in in cinema. In cinema. Batman, uh, Batman's parents' death scene or Uncle Ben getting killed? Ooh, probably Batman's parents. There's been substantially yeah. more Batman movies. So, anyway. Um, so it starts off with sort of Batman kicking ass, taking names, with the odd flashback back to sort of his origin story. Then um, it... Sort of, it follows him sort of developing different things and trying to sort out the whole Superman issue in his mind. Um, well, they actually do in, like, when Batman's taking names and um, kicking butt, there's also the whole scene that he's lifting the, no, the buildings are all crashing down to yeah, start with. Yeah, it, it shows around. where he was when... Um, Superman and was fighting Zod in um, Metropolis. Now, just a random note. This is jumping forward to later in the movie. Has Gotham always been right next to Metropolis? Like, pretty close, was. actually. Yeah. They have actually have been pretty close, so... Yeah, I just did I don't not... think they've been that close, but... Yeah. They're not like a, they're not like a five-hour plane ride. So, yeah. It's, like, actually pretty close. Because, yeah, in this movie, Metropolis is across the river from Gotham. They're, like, stones throw away from each other. You could see one from the other. So, yeah. I thought that was a little bit weird, because I didn't actually think Metropolis was that close to Gotham. I thought they were sort of, like, New York and Washington. Um, There was a sort of a decent-sized gap between the two. But, oh, well. That's just this movie. Anyway, so you see Bruce doing the bullshit Fast and Furious driving through all of the crumbling buildings with gravity... <laughs> in a Mini. In... No, no, it was in a four-wheel drive. No, it's a Mini. It's a four If you actually look at the symbol, it's actually a Mini. It looked like a Chrysler symbol to me. Because he dri- he's driving a, a Mini. He's driving a Chrysler later. But it's a four-wheel drive. It's not a Mini Mini. It's a four-wheel drive. <laughs> he bought a Jeep. Bought a Jeep. <laughs> he can afford the petrol. <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine the marketing Jeep could have done with this if they uh. did, if they jumped on that? Oh yeah. Anyway, um, so Bruce is speeding through uh, Metropolis as Metropolis is getting owned, and is uh, how do we put it? He's effectively trying to save everyone in his company, and this one guy goes gets a, 
I beam dropped on him. And Bruce does his best to save him and gets him away and um the guy loses his legs. Yeah, the guy loses both his legs. So yeah, poor guy. And that's when Bruce sees the little girl about to get crushed by a massive chunk of rubble, charges over there, ninja dives her to safety. Um make sure she's safe and he's like, Okay, we'll help you find your mummy and daddy. Where is where is your mummy? And she points up to a building that's no longer there and it's like, Oh right in the field. It's like ooh, ooh, it's like ooh yeah Ouch. Yeah. Pow. Right in the fields. Um and that's effectively when Bruce first started hating well, hate is not quite the right word. Not trusting Superman. Um Yeah. Yeah. Trust seems to be the main thing in this. Yeah. Which is cool, like, I like that. Yeah. So, then we cut to Indian Ocean, and them finding Kryptonite. Which, I, they had to find at some point. They had to find something like Kryptonite. And a big chunk of it, too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a massive chunk of it. So... Mind you, it's, it's massive, but two small children can carry it out of the ocean. Reasons. So, anyway. Well, Luther Corp is... In the way. <laughs> Luther Corp's the one that's been trying to hunt down the kryptonite. After discovering some in the rubble of uh, Metropolis, and then using it on Zod and realising that it can be used against Kryptonians. And he's like, look, if this guy ever turns against us, we're going to need these weapons to defend ourselves from him. And he's talking to one of the senators, and the senator's like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. And um, Luther, being Luther, has already set up the long game. He's been stealing the checks from Legless Man and sending them back. And as a result, Legless Man thinks he's been abandoned. At least that's what I got out of that that reveal later on. Um, I don't know if Legless Man had been getting the checks or not, to begin with and started sending them back or if Luther had intercepted them and was sending them back and he thinks he's been abandoned. I'm not exactly sure if he's... That, that one's a... Yeah, it's, it's, no idea with that one. It's fairly mm. grey zony. I suspect Luther was stealing the checks and sending them back based on what he said later on. Um, and so Luther befriends Legless Guy after bribing the senator to give him the body of Zod and access to the spaceship. He then uses his kryptonite to carve off Zod's fingerprints and use it to access the ship. Which is kind of cool in an evil psycho kind of way. Um, <laughs> so, he then takes yeah. command of the the ship that's the crash Kryptonian ship. And there's a massive sort of Senate inquiry into... Oh, that's right, Lois Lane gets kidnapped really early on. I forgot about that. No, Lois Lane goes... Well, yeah, she, she goes to do a news report with another guy, and he a, happens to be a CSI... A C, uh, CIA agent, yeah. Yeah, that's CIA, the, fairly early yeah. on. Um, I, we've sort of skipped over this by accident. It's more of because it's a fairly forgetful, forgettable scene, but it is quite pivotal. Um, Lois Lane goes to do an interview with some head terrorist -y guy... And the cameraman that he, that she took with him, with her, wow, my, just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, the cameraman, he works for the CIA and has a little tracker inside the film reel. So the soldiers there turn on um, the soldiers that belong to the terrorists because they're there as bodyguards or for or something. Um, well, okay, I think there's like two groups there. Yeah, yeah, there's two, two, two groups. There's, um, there's a, I'll put it this way: for an African nation, there is a whole lot of Caucasians there. <laughs> that's my first thought. Yeah, it's like that's a very, very white okay. African nation. <laughs> okay, because there's one group which is the terrorist main group, and there's supposedly a group of mercenaries. Uh, mercenaries. Yeah, which so, turns out to be Lex Luthers. Yeah, and so. They turn around and shoot the crap out of all the ter the the yeah the mercenaries turn around they and shoot, shoot the crap out of all the terrorists, and 
Superman rocks up to save Lois. And as usual. As usual. <laughs> and then Superman gets blamed for that massacre. And it's like, well, Superman doesn't use guns. So why would he shoot them all to hell? That doesn't make any sense. Throw him somewhere. Doesn't make any sense at all. Why would you blame Superman? He doesn't need guns. It's fucking crazy talk. So, anyway. Does that really surprise you? Massive Senate inquiry into why Superman went into this area and took these people out. Um, he didn't. Yeah, which he, well, he didn't take most of them. He, he, took the, he took the leader out, but none of the others. Um, because she, he was threatening Lois with a gun. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, you can have a bad day. Um... So, it sort of revealed that Superman is madly in love with Lois and will drop anything and everything to save her, which hasn't already been established in every Superman movie ever. <laughs> so, anyway, that was sort of earlier on. So now there's a massive Senate inquiry into why Superman is acting all unilaterally. There's sort of this hate building towards him um, in the public field, which is sort of, sort of cool. Then... Eventually, Superman is sort of conned into going in, going to this thing, and when he's after the Senate, yeah. Senator had blocked Lex Luthor from having the kryptonite. Kryptonian. Yeah, the kryptonite. Kryptonite found. Yeah. Um. So Superman rocks up, wanders into this building, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, Superman! Oh my god, Superman!" Um, and at this point. Bruce is still on the hating Batman side of... Sorry, hating Superman side of the fence. Um, but he's not quite sort of... Hasn't been pushed far enough to actually take action yet. Um, so, the guy in the wheelchair that, that lost his legs at the very beginning of the movie is there. Lex Luthor's given him a brand spanking new wheelchair. So, Superman walks in and... Sees Lex Luthor on the way in. Lex Luthor vanishes, as you'd expect. Walks in, and um, Superman's there. He's about to start giving his testimony, and then, kaboom, wheelchair guy explodes. Now, obviously, Superman survives, but he's look, he's got this look on his face of, why didn't I see that coming? I could have stopped this. And so Superman disappears and goes into, whole, into the whole, I'm super depressed, so I'm going to wander around the world mode. Um, and vanishes altogether. That's when Batman sort of goes, yep, you know what, enough of this. Um, I'm gonna sort of... Well, we skipped the party, didn't we? The party was earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my bad. If I, skip any... if I skip anything, let me know. Um, so anyway, back up back up a little bit. Before the explosion, there was a party which had... Which we see in the trailer with Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. And Wonder Woman's there and a few others. And this is when... Um, Bruce is investigating, trying to find, trying to track back these terrorist group, which he's tracking through Gotham and stuff, and he suspects Luther's involved, but he's not 100% sure. And he thinks they're trying to smuggle in some form of dirty bomb. Um, and he's well, trying to actually, stop them. Turns out to be kryptonite. No, no, no. What I was going to say is I don't think he thought it was a bomb to begin with. He knew what it was up. It was yeah. But he told Alfred that it was a deadly bomb. bomb. Yeah. Um. So he hacks into Luther's computer systems, and then Wonder Woman steals the drive because that's what Wonder Woman does, and she just absolutely she, she does the whole turn around the corner and he she, he she's now fifty meters in front. Turns another corner. She's a hundred meters in front. Bullshit. So. They're also picking on the fact his boys don't share toys. Yeah. So, so anyway. Um, then, uh, oh, that's right. So he finds out from that that this is all before the explosion. He finds out from that that Luther's got the kryptonite on the dock. So he goes as Batman to try and take the kryptonite, so he can forge weapons against Superman with it. And massive chase scene, which is really, really well done, ensues, and he takes out all of the bad guys' cars, and Batmobile just cops everything they can throw at it, including a boat. <laughs> sort of funny. Um, I'm amazed. 
I found it funny that the last his tracking device he put on it yeah survived um, only just yeah. stayed on so he gets launched sideways through a building like the Batmobile tends to and comes crashing back out flies through the air and plows through the top of the shipping crate that the bad guys are moving the kryptonite in the truck goes flying around the corner and disappears the Batmobile's turning to chase after him and that's the scene where he comes around the corner and crashes into Superman and Superman sort of casually flicks him off into the the petrol bowser and his Batman is like well this is going to end badly for me Superman rips the canopy off the Batmobile lobs it to the side and it's like look this is the only warning I'm giving you stop doing what you're doing or I will stop you at which point he stands up and looks him square in the face and goes do you bleed and <laughs> Tell me, do you bleed? Yeah, and... You will. And then Superman's like, yeah, well, fuck you, and he flies off, he just goes, you will. Um, then, that's sort of soon thereafter that is when the explosion scene happens. Um, and after the explosion, Batman breaks into LexCorp and steals the kryptonite. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's one more scene before that. What did I forget? The next... The next party, uh, next meet-up between Wonder Woman and Bruce. Oh, yeah, Bruce. Wonder Woman and Bruce, where Wonder Woman gives him the drive back and effectively says, I'm not necessarily on against you. And then Bruce is back at the bay, back at the Batcave, and this is when we have the Flash crossover. Light, Superman's, sorry, Batman's asleep, and, um, well, sorry, Bruce is asleep, and... The room fills up with lightning, a portal opens up, and we see Flash for the first time. And Flash is like, don't trust him. Whatever you do, don't trust him. Um, and then the Flash is gone. And What outfit? What? He looked like he was wearing two suits. Yeah, it did, didn't it? That was really weird. Because it looked like it had like an Iron Man suit on the top, and then underneath it was his Flash outfit. Yeah, it looked really, really weird. So, like he's wearing a protective layer. So, um, then we see what's in the contents of the the drive. This is but before he steals kryptonite by about a minute, um, and we see Aquaman for the first time, Wonder Woman's reveal, and Cyborg for the first time, and we get a hint at Flash. Flash. We get a hint at Flash. We see him bullshit Flash the bullshit for a split second. Um. I gotta say, Jason Wall looks really awesome. Oh yeah, like, actually, like getting to like I know we've seen pictures up, but actually getting to see it in film. Oh yeah, looks really, really good. Yeah. So, a long story short, won't be making fun of Aquaman anymore. No. <laughs> yeah. So. Unless he makes fun of himself, then we have plenty of then we have plenty of ammo to use. Oh yeah. So anyway, that was absolutely spectacular. This. The shot of... Where, that was the Titanic, wasn't it? I don't, was it the Titanic? It was... It I was, thought it was Atlantis. No, it was some shipwreck. No, it was... Oh, it was a shipwreck, okay. It was a shipwreck. And um, we see I'll, I'll, Aquaman I'll sort of... I'll like I see it Thursday. So. Yeah. Um, we see Aquaman sort of pop his face out and you see his hair sort I of love the, I love like, the way that you, that, he, that you first seen was just the eyes. eyes. Yeah. That was one of those moments like, oh, cool. like, yeah, I was like, oh, yes. So, so that was really oh, cool. Yes. Um, then he wakes up, steals the kryptonite. Um, then the explosion happens. God, I only watched this movie not 12 hours ago. Why am I forgetting so many chunks of it? I know <laughs> I've skipped over so much. Anyway. Well, sort you don't of, want it completely spoiled. Yeah, well, and then you see Batman doing the whole forging weapons to use against Superman thing. Um, oh, his exercise. Oh, that exercise workout, yeah. I, I could just see Amy that sitting next to me going, <laughs> like, it's like, calm down, calm down. I was going to say, I didn't actually realise how buff Affleck actually got for that. Oh, yeah. So he... But I mean, a sledgehammer onto a t- uh, t- truck tyre. Yeah. The chains. Yeah, it Ugh. it was a brutal workout. I I looked at that and go, wow, I'm feeling tired just watching you do that. <laughs> so, 
uh... And I wonder how many takes he had to do to do it. Yeah. Well, luckily being a movie, none of that stuff would have been real. It would have all been pretend yeah. weights. But in real life... Are you sure? Yes. In real life, yeah, no, stuff that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so we see the, the workout montage sort of in a cut with him developing weapons to take to use against Superman. He makes a spear, he makes half a dozen gas grenades, like kryptonite, kryptonite gas grenades, and um, a few other little bells and whistles. Then he goes to the top of the police station in Gotham and aims the light up at the sky, sort of the challenge for Superman. And uh, which Lex point, sort out. Huh? Yeah. As, and then at which point Lex kidnaps Superman's mother and Lois Lane and effectively says, tosses Lois Lane off a building and Superman rocks up to save her because he's been MIA for who knows how long at this point. MIA for quite a while. Um, and Superman just boop, instant transmissions underneath her, catches her, they should expect. Saves her, flies up to confront Luther, and is effectively like, "Look, I'm going to give you a kindness and not kill you right now." And Luther's like, "By the way, I've got your mother. Ha ha! You need to go fight Batman. Have fun with that." And Superman's like, "I stole your uh, special woman." Yeah, and so now God's bow to me. Yeah, yeah. and now and now God works for me, and so he fly. Superman flies off to confront Batman. Is rocks up to Batman. He's like, "Look." I don't want to fight you. I actually need your help in this. Um, and at which point, Batfleck is having none of that. Doesn't trust him for a second. Immediately starts trying to wail on him. Which ends about as badly as you'd expect. Um, the the iron, iron Bat suit takes a hell of a pounding. Surprisingly well, actually. And then he gets a gas grenade off in Superman's face. And that's when we see the infamous punch scene. Where he... Superman tries to punch Batman and it does nothing. And then Batman wails on... Last very long. Yeah, Batman wails on Superman for a while. And then the negative effects wear off. And then, much to Batman's horror, Superman starts ragdolling him around all over the place. It's like, oh. And then Lex Luthor disappears and he goes to his secret little... That he goes well to the not so secret crashed alien ship and starts reviving Zod in a chamber, um, and which is creating all sorts of chaos on the buildings around it, just arc lightning everywhere. <laughs> um, and at which point, if I was the mayor of um, Metropolis, I'd be like, "Yep, guys, we're out. Everybody, out of the city, get as far away as possible. Don't stand around and watch the lightning because that shit'll insta kill you." Get the f*** out now. And I'll just be evacuating everyone from everywhere nearby <laughs> to anywhere else in every way possible. Um, then, so, that's happening. Bats fighting soups. They're wailing on each other. Bats gets another gas grenade into soups, gets him down, finally effectively knocks him out, goes to where the spear is, Blinds the spear up, is about to stab him, and then Lois rocks up and is like, No, no, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, that's right, Batman says... Sorry, Superman goes, says, Save Martha, which is the name of Bruce's mother. Which I never realised they mm. both... That their mothers were the same, had the same name. Yeah, no, I picked up... We picked it up um at the beginning... Um, like, when the quiz was showing up on the screen. Yeah. I was like, Oh, yeah, they both have Marthas. <laughs> Martha, Martha, Martha! Yeah. So, anyway... So that makes Batman pause, and he's like, what do you mean, save Martha? He's sort of like, what? Why is, no, why are you saying this name? Yeah, why, why are you, are saying... you saying Martha? Yeah. Um, and then Lois rocks up, and sort of explains it all. Batman's like, okay, I'll save your mother, you stop Lex. And Lois grabs the spear and throws it in, throws it down the deepest well of water she can find, because... It's the only weapon that can be used to kill Superman, so let's put it deep down underwater. So, it's like, yay, that will end well. Then... We all know how well that ends. 
it's yeah then we see batman in the batwing and this is the scene from the trailer where he takes on that the fact the the building down at the sh- down at the, the bay area and just wrecks house big time um saves superman's mum meanwhile superman <laughs> is wailing on doomsday just getting wailed on and wailing on and just yeah, it's, it's an all around you're gonna have a bad day cut to wonder Wailed woman on a up. plane and just walks off and she sees what's happening and just casually just strolls off the plane and the flight attendant's like um you can't walk off right now hello it's like yeah now we've got to find your luggage take your luggage out dick about this just well, she had her luggage right with her no, yeah, but she's also, oh, she... she'd have luggage in the actual plane proper as well. She wouldn't just be walking around with two little bags, considering how big the shield and sword are. Or did she just pull they them out collapse. of her? So, so anyway, um, so she disappears off the plane. Cut back to the cut back to Metropolis, where Doomsday is just wrecking house. Superman takes him up in an orbit. Um, and so the Americans are like, you know what? Everything is made better with nuclear weapons. They're far enough away, we'll nuke him. Yeah, so they launch a nuke and nuke them point blank range, which all that does is give more energy to Doomsday and make him way more powerful. So, yeah. And knock out Superman for a while. Oh yeah, Ed, oh yeah, KO'd Superman. You can see Superman floating in space, just looking ridiculously gaunt. Like, yeah, he did not look healthy. Luckily enough, he he, he looked like a ghoul from Fallout. Yeah, like he looked he looked like he hadn't eaten in at least six months. So he was gaunt as. So he's just up there floating around. Doomsday's back on the surface, and Batman lures him to the island that he was fighting. Back to Gotham. Yeah. Uh, towards Gotham to an island that's in between Gotham and Metropolis which is relatively abandoned except for Lois Lane um so she doesn't count so Doomsday manages to shoot down the Batwing which crashes and then um Doomsday sees that Batman's down does the whole laser eye thing on him again and that's when Wonder Woman appears and saves Batman blocks yeah because Batman's got this look on his face of, well, I'm absolutely shit creeped right now. And Wonder Woman... Oh, he got two pockets. Wonder Woman jumps in, saves the day with her Captain America shield. Um, <laughs> the only difference is it doesn't bounce off things and come back to her. Um, so she then sort of... She's like, oh, I like a challenge. Just, just like, Leroy Jenkins! It on Doomsday just starts wailing on him and... and does actually a decent amount of damage. I'm surprised how much damage she does. Especially mm. with her sword. Yeah, her sword just just slices straight through him. Um, yeah, literally cuts it. Yeah. Arm off. So it starts. Then she broke three grows. Starts wailing on him, and um, then Superman sort of gets in the sunlight and recharges his, his star power batteries, and then he Superman dives in, and they're sort of Wonder Woman and Superman are tag teaming Doomsday. While getting ragdolled, cutting back to Batman every now and again, trying to to help, but being Batman, he just doesn't. Then we see the building that Lois is in collapsing because she's running to get the spear, and then she ends up in the trapped in the well underwater, and is drowning. Superman hears it, goes over. We see Lois Lane dead. Superman's all upset. He dives in the water, grabs the spear, comes back up. Lois Lane's alive! Yay! Now She's Superman. Not dead. She's Sup- now Superman. Just blowing up. Yeah. Now Superman's yeah. dead because he he grabbed the kryptonite spear and floated to the surface with it, and yeah. And as a result, he's he's in a pretty bad way thanks to the thanks to that. Um, at this point, it's Wonder that? Woman's getting absolutely ragdolled. Like she's not doing well at this point. She's looking forward to the fight, but at the same time, she's like, ah, why? <laughs> Uh, um. Yeah. Then oh, like oh no, that's right. That's right. When Superman first comes back from space, he lands next to Batman, and Batman's like, "Is she?" And it's like, "We've got to effectively take down this alien." And she's like, "I've t- I've killed aliens before, 
and dives in. And Superman and Batman just sort of look at each other and say, well, who the hell is this person? And Batman's like, is she with you? And Superman's like, uh, sorry, Superman's like, is she with you? And Batman's like, I thought she was with you. And it's just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so, anyway, jump. we'll jump back forward to the spear. Batman finally manages to get into a position to shoot Doomsday in the face with a kryptonite, with his last kryptonite grenade, gas grenade. Wonder Woman's got the lasso of glowing lightsaberiness around Doomsday holding him in place so Batman can actually hit him. Um, then we see Superman flying in as fast as he can holding a kryptonite spear and just <laughs> shiv the crap out of Doomsday. So, and then now, Doomsday ah, shoves Ah, No, we're not mentioning that. Okay. No, no, no. Um, so, there's... Obviously, we skipped over quite a bit. Um mostly due to so much happening that I've forgotten parts of it. There's some <laughs> there's some stuff at the end. After Doomsday gets stabbed, some more shenanigans happen, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. You have to go watch it. Um, but, yeah. So, but long story short, Doomsday does go down. Can um, we at least talk about Lex being in the cell? Oh, yeah, we, we're going to cover that. We're just not going to cover the end of that oh, fight. Oh, good. We're just, the, 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 the end of that fight, we're not covering. We're just going to say Doomsday goes down. Um, we're not going to we're not gonna mention anything else. So, yeah, then we see Lex has been arrested, and he's in prison, and he gets his head shaved, and he's, got, he's bald for the first time in the movie, and he actually looks quite angry at that point. Then, um... Is that Arkham? I've always wondered, is that Arkham he's in? Um, I don't know. I know he's in a prison somewhere, but I don't recall explicitly seeing... Yeah, it doesn't show... Yeah, it doesn't where. show what one he's in. So... So I wasn't sure if it was Arkham or if it was Iron Heights or somewhere else. Judging well, that was the... that too. I was going to say... Judge... I was going to say it's probably Iron Heights. Um, because it doesn't look mentally asylum-y at all. Which is what you'd expect from Arkham. Um, so, anyway, it doesn't look, we'll put it this way, it doesn't look like the building, the Suicide Squad, gets taken out of in the Suicide Squad trailer. It looks like a yeah. different place, so I'm going with Iron Heights. Um, and... Although I don't think they're in Arkham, so... Yeah. So, Batman rocks up, and... I love that. He's... That is probably my favourite scene in the movie. Oh, yeah. Because a... that is, that is full-on out of the animated... Yeah. TV series where he's just full on going full intimidation mode. Yeah, he rocks up at the cell, threatens Luther. Luther's like, eh, I'm Luther. I don't give a shit about that. And then he brand instead of branding Luther with his bat brand, he brands the cement wall with it. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Then Luther's like, oh, maybe he might actually be screwed. Yeah. Yeah, maybe going against these guys, not the best idea. Um, and then Batman just instant transmissions away. It randomly vanishes. Uh. He does that quite good. Yeah. Well, though. Well, at the, at the very beginning of the movie, we see him sort of exorcist across a roof, which was pretty cool. Um, he complains about everyone else teleporting. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, then, uh, sort of does some more epilogue sort of scenario, setting up other bits and pieces in motion. Um, but we can't really mention them without totally ruining the end of the movie, and we're not going to do that. Mm. So, yeah. Overall, we, it's definitely... Basically, this movie sets up Justice League. Oh yeah, the movie sets up Justice League perfectly. At the very end, Bruce says to Wonder Woman, we're going to go find these other people, and we're going to form a... We're going to bring them all together, because we're going to bring them fight. together. Um, and that's because Bruce had what a... What are they going to have to... <laughs> what are they going to have to fight? Dark side! Yeah, because Bruce early on had a flashback to... Look, almost looked almost like super... looked like Superman and Dark Side were on the same side. Because Superman had all these soldiers with Superman badges on their arm. Yeah, that actually and... happens in the comics as well. And, yeah. So... And Dark Darkseid's the reason why Darkseid is the reason why Krypton was destroyed. Yeah. And when Darkseid first make, makes his first appearance, he says that he can find Krypton for a Superman. Obviously, he's bullshitting and he just tricks him. Yeah. And so he briefly goes evil, and 
very briefly goes evil, but yeah. then he realizes yeah. what Darkseid's doing. So, yeah. so anyway, overall, just to reiterate, eight to nine out of ten from me. It was what do you say, Amy? Eight out of ten. Yeah, could always do better. Yeah, it, it it had moments where it could have been better, but to be perfectly honest, there's so many pieces in that movie fell together perfectly that mm. yeah. Put it this way. You don't want to. You don't want to kind of change it. Yeah. Put it this way. I went into this movie expecting another Man of Steel, another relatively average movie, and I walked out of that movie cinema with pretty much everyone else that was in there, um, with the exception of the one guy behind me who said, "Oh, it felt like it went too long." All I heard was positive <laughs> comments from everybody around me. Yeah. No. Every, this is well, this it, is DC's. So, this is DC's chance to finally take this on is Marvel. Finally, the competitive. Yeah, this is the competitive movie that they've needed. Yeah. So. Yeah, my complaint is no Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> get over it. My complaint. Oh. My, my, my complaint is no bat nipples. <laughs> Actually, there was. <laughs> there was. Yeah. In the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Lego Batman trailer. In the Lego Batman trailer, there was. <laughs> oh, that trailer. Oh, that trailer. No, seriously, seriously, everyone in this. Did an incredible job in their roles. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman is oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely phenomenal. The people have thought, oh no, she's going to be horrendous. Oh, that that that's going to change very quickly in the next coming days. Oh yeah, but I expect rave reviews from this, except from a few sort of ridiculously silly people. Like, oh, we always have those ridiculously silly people. Yeah, exactly. Um. It's definitely the movie that DC needed to make. It's definitely a movie that it's can take on Avengers. We, yeah, it's the movie we needed and wanted. Yeah. And, and I want to go see again. Like, this is... I'm just really excited to go watch this now. Yeah. See, on uh, when Man of Steel came out, I watched it once. I was like, yeah, I'm done with it. And I did not watch it again until yesterday before I went and watched this. I'm looking forward to watching this again next week. Um, definitely. Definitely looking forward to watching it again. Um, so, and the last time I watched a movie more than once was Deadpool, which I watched four times. But that's beside the point. <laughs> for the record, Deadpool. for the record, not as good as Deadpool. But that is very hard. No, 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 no. Not as good, but yeah. <laughs> Deadpool was really, really yeah. well done. Deadpool was great. This is not quite as great, but it's still really good. Now, Considering it's technically the first team-up movies, which would be the equivalent of the original Avengers movies from a few years ago, comparing the two, which one do you think did it better? And I know they oh. both had different sort of approaches to it. Which one do you uh, think is better? Neither. <laughs> They're pretty much thrown together. Oh, hmm. wait. What else is new? <laughs> so... Um, I'll put it this way. I would That's put... hard. I would put the original <laughs> Avengers really hard. better. I would make it better. But that's because the original Avengers was less about establishing characters. Because you already had all the characters on... You already had all the pieces on the field. And it was how those pieces interacted. Whereas this movie had to spend time setting up characters. And... Yes, most of the characters were well known... But at the same time, um, yeah, I, I would still leave the original Avengers higher up the food chain than this. But this would be better than Age of Ultron. Oh, by far. Yeah. <laughs> so. By far, this is better than Age of Ultron. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, that brings us to the end of the Batman vs. Superman review. Yep, and I have some breaking news, like some really big breaking news, actually. Ooh, I was just about to say, do you have any news that you want to put out there, Stuart? This broke like a couple of minutes ago, but reports are coming out saying that Nintendo were going to stop production of the Wii U at the end of 2016. Wow. That means the NX is coming very, very soon. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, like every major play, every major 
uh, video game places reporting on this. Kotaku, Game um, GameSpot, like everywhere was reporting on this. Wow, that's sort of that unexpected. Is a, that's yeah, especially especially which now makes me think: Could NX come end of twenty sixteen, and could Zelda, the new Zelda, be the launch title for it? Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Well, I guess we'll find out come E3 because that'll probably when they do a lot more. We'll find out more about it. Yeah. So Unless anyway, Nintendo doing announcement in the next few days, but let's jump. I needed to say that because that is huge news. Oh yeah, let's jump back to the Lego Batman trailer. <laughs> God, that was funny. Um, that was really well done. Him, him throwing I... a temper tantrum. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so him, him kicking Alfred into the piano. <laughs> Yeah, he's, st- he's, st- he's staring at his pi- in the picture of his parents, and Alfred walks up to him and goes, Your drink, sir. And he just goes, Oh, kicks him backwards, launches him into the piano, and Alfred sort of climbs out. He's like, Yep, I should have, should have. He's like, Why did you sneak up on me? He's like, Yes, I know, I should have, should have expected it. <laughs> I, was so, I was so love if you look what he's wearing. He has the Batman hel- um, helmet on, but then, then he's in a robe. In a bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can get that in a video game. I would love to have that in a video, oh. in a Lego video game. And then we've got please, um... please still see that. Please, I will pay money for that. <laughs> I will gladly pay money to see that. And then what? What did Alfred want him to do? Go and see someone. Yeah, yeah talk yeah. about his feelings. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he wanted to. Alfred wanted him to go. But he did. Of... I want to. Yeah, and he's just like no. He's like no, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> He starts no, doing the no. bat. He, he, he starts yeah. doing the Batman. The the no 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 so yeah, it's a, it's, I, think I, was, I wasn't sure what, I, I wasn't sure what we were going to get out of that. That was so much better than what I thought it was. Oh yeah. So yeah, and I'm hoping they ref- like, I like it how the, they reference the older movies, and when, when it went back to the 1960s, when you saw Batman dancing, and it comes back to, yeah. comes back to Lego Batman, he's like, I was going through a phase. <laughs> phase. <laughs> oh. oh, Batman, 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 Batman. So, on the note of Batman, based on his performance in... Um, this? This. Where do you think Bat- Batflick will rate Bat- for Batmans on the Batman scale? Ooh. Honestly, I don't remember who. I put him at the who's top. Who's top of that? Was that? Who is at the top? Would that be Bales? Yeah. Ooh. I, he's definitely top three. Yeah. I would put him at the top. Definitely at the top. So, he did such a good job. I would love. I love the part when he's talking to Alfred and he's like, "That son of a bitch brought the war to." I was like, "You could even," he even like full on did a Batman voice without even having the mic on. Yeah. So you, I was just. What do you think of Bruce's house? The first one you see. The, the manor. The, no, the, the other one. The, the glass one. The glass one. Oh, the one on the river. Yeah. Yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> I love that they made reference to the burnt um, Wayne Manor, though. I was like, okay, that's cool. Burnouts. Um... The burn out, the burnt Wayne Manor, yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was I thought that was a cool touch. Yeah. What happened to Wayne Manor for it to be burnt out like that? Do we know? Did you not? Do you not? Did you not watch the um, Dark Knight trilogy? Not really. The Nolan trilogy. Oh, so what happened in that is um. Rage, um, Rage was the main villain in the first one. Yeah. And Rage, and um, there was a party happening at the time, but um, the League of Assassins and Venice all burnt down his house. Ah. Hence why, for the last two films, he was living out of apartments. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I think that was a little throwback to that. Yeah. Well, I I I assumed it was to do with the the death of Robin. No, 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 no. Uh, if we, if it is going to be Jason, which we don't know, yeah, I know, I know that was Joker killed. Jason him. was Jason was blown up in a warehouse. Yeah, I, I've, not I've, a way I've, now, so. I've seen the movie. 
Uh, Red Hood, not Red Hood, it's such a good movie. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's a new uh, animated Justice League vs. T- Teen Titans. Oh, yeah, I knew that uh, was coming out. Yeah. I've already reported on that. There's a new trailer out and it shows um, a, uh, um, basically the plot line is, is that Raven's dad's gone, gone mental and just trying to take over. Uh, what else is new? Yeah, what doesn't he? <laughs> So anyway, um, and so he takes over, and so he actually possesses the Justice League. Hence, why it's Justice League versus Teen Titans. Yeah. Um, then we've got I like... Supergirl's back this week. So its first episode came out yesterday, which I really and got. Flash, to Flash Flash is back today. Yes, looking forward to that. Oh, I've been missing my Flash. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give so, me that Flash. Pretty much. Um, I got I. I hope Ezra Miller does a really good job because he's got big boots to fill. Oh, yeah. Because Grant's done a really good job with it on the TV show, so they're going to have to make it. I hope Ezra does a really, really... He's going to have to really step it up in the movie. Yeah, I read I the... a funny flat, flash with long hair. Yeah, I've, I've read an article on... Well, it made me think of Cisco. I'm like, oh, look, Cisco's the Flash <laughs> now. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... I was read an article online that was released a couple of days ago with an interview with Snyder, and his response was, "We would have loved to have used the Arrow and Flash universe, but their too their tone is too different um, to the tone that we want for these movies. And since I want a very specific tone, aka I want very specific control over the stories, and I and I can't get it if we but, and he couldn't have that <laughs> if he used." Um, the Arrow and Flash from the TV universe, which I understand, I do. I disagree with, um, but I understand. But it would still be really, really, really funny to have a cameo of those two in the background of the next movie. Like, next sort of Justice league sort of movie, the one that... Maybe even the one that introduces the Flash. Um, have it so that when the Flash jumps back in time or... BS is the BS. Gen. We see a, just in the background a shot of Barry from. Oh, like when he's going through the Speed Force. Yeah, yeah, like what Barry did when he went through the Speed Force. Have like a, a shot of Batman versus Superman, and the next time he does that, um, and the other way around, in just to sort of tie it together, even loosely, would be spectacular. So yeah, other than that. Oh man, I love that. But the movie was so good. I'm definitely gonna have to watch it again. That was a. I, was just, I, I, I agree. I was like, I was going thinking. Uh, hope it does okay. That was really well done. Yeah. So, anyway, that about finishes up for this week's podcast. Uh, second one for this week. We won't be having a podcast next week because I won't have any power because they're upgrading the electrical network in my area. Um, so next, hey, blah, blah. So this is next week's podcast. Um, so, yeah. We have planned to do Batman vs Superman, so yeah. it works for us. So, so the, there won't be a podcast on the 29th. Next podcast will be on the 5th of April, which will be our lead-up to uh, Supernova. Supernova podcast. So, yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, so keep an ear out on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast, all one word. If you ever want to join us on the air, add save sci-fi podcast to your Skype, send us a message, let us know what you want to talk about, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, we, rec- we record live every Tuesday, or in this case Wednesday, um, fr- um, it's effectively we start recording 24 hours before we're live now, so Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia time. Which I'm GMT t- uh, plus ten. So if you look up where your GMT is, what the GMT value of your hometown is, where you're listening from, work that out, subtract or add the relative hours, and you should be able to work out when we're live. Um, it's not that hard. So keep an eye on Facebook.com/slash/SaveSciFi for all your sci-fi related news and independent sci-fi projects that we support, and all the independent projects we don't support, which we, we support everybody. Any if you have anything you want to share on Save Sci-Fi, send us a message. We'll do what we can. Um, check out facebook.com slash sci-fi wars for your starship battle scenarios. Always a lot of fun. And that about does it. So, 
Yeah. And don't forget to check on Garrison 7. Oh, yes. Definitely keep a close eye on Garrison 7. Um, between now and Supernova, they're going to be making a fairly sort of decent announcement. And at Supernova, they're going to be making a massive announcement. Okay, bye. 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 Because I'm Batman. Because I'm Batman.